Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss about uh, auto analyzer which is a very modernized machine and uh, today's lecture will be just on the introduction of the auto analyzer. The content we have to discuss first of all what is auto analyzer? We have to know about the instrument first. Then we have to know the working principle of the auto analyzer, how the auto analyzer actually works. Then a recording of the result in an auto analyzer means how we will record the result in the auto analyzer or what will be the output of the result in what way we will get the result from an auto analyzer. And lastly we have to know about the uses of the auto analyzer. If you are new to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, get notified for the daily uploaded new educational videos and don't forget to like and share. So what is auto analyzer? The auto analyzer is an automated analyzer machine. That means there is no manual influence there. So there is no chance of manual error in case of an auto analyzer which uses CFA or continuous flow analysis technique or SFA or segmented flow analysis technique. Now what is CFA and what is uh, SFA we will discuss later on. So first of all it is a machine which is not operated uh, manually only the switch is given by manually and the sample is uh, put it in manually and uh, the total analysis is done by a particular machine. So analysis is not done by a person. The design is based on segmenting a continuous flowing stream with air bubble. This line is very important because it is the hallmark of the working principle of the auto analyzer. So it segments with the help of the air bubble the flowing stream of the sample to some packets and each packet is dedicated for the analysis of some different thing. This instrument was invented by Leonard Skaggs in the year 1957 for clinical analysis. So it's very important for you people who are associated with the clinical laboratory technology. Afterwards, this machine was used for other purposes like industrial and environmental analysis. So it has a multi-purpose use. Third generation means the most advanced CFA analysis analyzers analyzes average 90 plus samples in an hour. So you can think how fast it is. These analyzers mostly depends on color reactions using flow through the photometer. So it is a photometric analysis. Okay. Now regarding the working principle of the auto analyzer. First of all, we have to understand this equation that is CFA is equal to SFA plus FIA where CFA is continuous flow analysis, SFA is the segmented flow analysis and FIA is the flow injection analysis. So these are the abbreviations of the working principle. Now what is SFA? It is a means here a continuous stream of material is divided by air bubbles into segments in which chemical reactions occur. That means if we put a drop of blood with the help of the air bubble, it will be segmented in different small parts and each and every part will be analyzed separately for different outcome. The continuous stream of sample and the reagents are combined and transported in tubing and mixing coils. The tubing passes the sample from one apparatus to the other apparatus performing separate functions like heating, extraction, distillation, incubation, etc. and recording of a signal. That means different types of analysis requires different types of chemical process. So different types of chemical process occurs in different compartments of this auto analyzer. The air bubble segments each sample into packets and act as a barrier to discrete packets and prevent their mixing. So a 1 ml sample 
can be segmented in different packets with the help of the air bubble and between the two segments there will be a air bubble to differentiate the two packets which are segmented to be analyzed for different purpose. So the working principle continued here. Now what about FIA? It was invented in 1975 by Ruzika and Hansen. It was inspired by the invention of SKEX means uh, CFA. FIA system separated sample from subsequent sample with a carrier reagent. So a bit more advanced. Sample a reagent are merged to form a concentration gradient that gives the analysis result. So it's a modified form. <coughs> Sorry. The second generation of FIA technique called SIA, sequential injection analysis, was introduced in 1990 by Ruzika and Herschel. It uses flow programming that allow the flow rate and flow direction to be altered according to the need of the research protocol. So it is the most advanced technique in which a research worker can modify the flow rate and the flow direction too according to the purpose of the research. So it is the most modified technique which uses the principle of SIA. Sequential means maintaining the sequence injection analysis, injecting the sample and the an analysis. So it is a auto analyzer from outside. How it looks like you can see that here the monitor where the result comes out and uh, some mechanisms are here, some systems are here. It is the internal thing means a block diagram what happens actually what happens inside this auto analyzer so it is the sampler you can see the small holes so here the samples are placed and from there it comes mixing or proportioning pump and manifold so it is the cleaner from here the reagent comes and this is the coil and the tubing through which the air bubble comes and sample and reagents are separated okay <coughs> then it goes to a dialyzer, then heating bath, then colorimeter, which is the last step. And finally, after photo analysis, it comes to the graphic recorder. And we can view the result here. So air bubble plays a most important role. You can see the segregation. Between two air bubbles, there is a space where the sample is kept. So the air bubbles are differentiating the sample or segmenting the sample in different packets so that they cannot be mixed again. Now how the results are recorded? Recent auto analyzers contain data logger or personal computers records the output of analysis which is treated as results for required settings. Okay. Next we will know the uses of the auto analyzer. So they are used mainly for routine medical laboratory analysis, very important for the laboratory technician guys. So routine medical laboratory analysis, the modification of auto analyzer nowadays require less amount of reagents to do the analysis. So it's a most pocket friendly instrument. This instrument is useful for determination of complete blood count that is CBC, separation of plasma, blood urea nitrogen, alkaline phosphatase bilirubin, calcium, cholesterol, creatinine, etc. This instrument automate repetitive sample analysis steps which would otherwise be done manually by laboratory technician which may involve manual errors. So it minimizes the error. Only one lab technician can operate the full auto analyzer by just switching on and off the machine and just putting the sample. Further uses includes Auto analyzers are also used for a few clinical application like neonatal screening of anti-D that uh, blood is positive or negative. But the majority of the instruments are now used for industrial and environmental purpose. These are also commonly used in soil testing laboratories, fertilizer analysis, process control, etc, etc, etc. So this auto analyzer is a multi-purpose worker, we can say. 
the prime use is for the medical laboratory analysis of the samples of blood and serums and all or the urine and all the second most important use is for the industry and for the environment and the third most important use is for the agriculture so these are few references for your further study so thank you very much for your patient listening hope you have understood well if if you have any question please uh, feel free to a uh, comment in the comment section and this will be continued to part 2 so long thank you